What's up you guys? Welcome back to another adventure. So we are here at Big Bear right now uh, doing a little exploring this weekend. There's a couple of trails I've been uh, having in mind to check out. One is called Butler's Peak. I've been seeing a lot of that trail and I've been wanting to go up there. It's supposedly pretty easy, not too complicated. And then there's a couple other offshoot in Holcomb Valley that uh, we've been wanting to explore, like the Squeeze and Harvey Mines and all that. So we'll see what kind of venture we'll be having here today. It's going to do a little bit off-roading, a little bit overlanding, a little bit camping, whatever you want to call this. But yeah, it'll be fun. It's nice to uh, get away for a little bit and just, you know, relax and unwind. So yeah, we'll take you guys along and uh, show you guys the adventure today. All right, let's do it. All right, so there's three of us right now. One more is coming, running a little late, but uh, yeah, I'll air down and we'll see if we can even get to Butler's Peak. If not, then uh, yeah, we'll just explore Holcomb Valley and do a couple offshoot. We'll see, make the best out of it. All right guys, so initially I wanted to go to this route, connect to the uh, trail to Butler's Peak, but that gate is closed, so we're gonna try this trail right here we'll see if it's even open unfortunately if it doesn't then we have to try and see about other trail but uh yeah unfortunately this row is closed so we'll try and go this this row right here but uh other than that that's i mean i'm not sure if this is a hiking trail or not but we'll see maybe we can't go on butler's peak today well definitely a bus both gates are closed unfortunately i know that trail tend to be closed because of a uh, trail condition and get washed out and whatnot so all right plan b see what we can do in holcomb valley Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, good job, good job. There you go, there you go. Put your tire on this, on this rock. There you go, ride it, ride it, ride it, bump it. There you go. All right, that was a cool little offshoot overlooking Big Bear. So we're heading off to another another trail. Uh, no option, no overlook. It's just the network of trail back here. Just crazy. Right, Austin? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to lower the volume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you guys ever uh, in this area, there's tons of trail to go explore. But we'll, we'll check out another one before hitting up the entrance into Harvey Mine. Hopefully, hopefully Harvey might have some challenging obstacle. We'll see. All right, we're taking a little lunch break here. This is just in the beginning of the trail, 3N07. 3N16 is right there, Holcomb Valley Road. So just a little bit of a uh, offshoot right here, but we can take a little lunch break. About one o'clock right now. We'll see what other adventure we might encounter on this trail, but let's get some lunch. So I made that. That's right. Just kidding. Got some Subway, some chips. Got some raspberry. A balanced, balanced lunch. Yeah, just enjoying our time here before we hit up this trail next. All right, guys, we're gonna hit up Harvey Mine Trail right now. 
I don't really know the condition of it from what I see. It's not that hard, but I'm not sure if all the offshoot is hard, but I did see like some rocky sections. So we just have to uh, find out. That's the fun part of off-roading and going exploring. So yeah, let's uh, see how this trail is. Passenger, passenger. Passenger, passenger, passenger. Yeah, go passenger. Just come, come to me. Yeah, keep it up, keep that momentum. And then cut hard driver. Yeah, you're good right there. That's what it's for. You're good. Go, 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 go. go, go. He's good, he's good. Keep that line and you're good. Nice. Perfect line. There you go. <laughs> so there's an easier route if you want to avoid the rock. The bypass. A little bit more loose sand, a little steep, but ah, uh, he's fine. Nice job, Leonard. We're just checking out John Bull. Yep. Oh yeah, it's Black Diamond for a reason. Yep, this is why this is a Black Diamond. It's all rock crawling territory. It's kind of cool just to check it out. So we know 
the trail condition up uh, John Bull but I'm definitely not taking my truck yeah Be careful your tie rod. Yeah. Take it, take that line heat. Turn out a little bit now. And then hard driver. Uh, you might have to uh, go back. Go back. Oh, no, no, no. Go back. Yeah, go back you hit your back. bumper in that big rock. Oh, easy. Yeah, just easy. There you go. All right, then go driver, driver, driver. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah. You good? good? Yeah. Just go slow, just go slow there. Just, just, yeah. Just go slow. Man, look at that beefy tires and beefy axles. It is what you need to crawl over these. these two rocks here. So this was the same one we wet heat. Very, very slow. Yeah. A little bit of driver, just a little bit. A little bit of driver. A little bit of driver. You're going to go up, but you're going to come right back down. Easy. That's slider. Slow, 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 That's George. <laughs> What do you think, passenger now? Now passenger, now passenger. Hey, look at that flex, man. <laughs> yeah. He's flexing for sure. That was fun, just to see John Bull, at least uh, towards the end of it, and just having fun turning around and testing it out with George's truck, but you can see why it's double, or well, black diamond at least. Yeah, I need at least 35 solar front axle to do that, unless you're really, really taking your time with the 32 inch tire. But it was fun to see that area. We're gonna continue and hopefully hit up uh, the squeeze, and then uh, that might be it for the day. It's almost four o'clock right now. So let's see how this day goes. Nice little drop off. <clears throat> Hitch slider.
through the rock. <laughs> Woo! Perfect. Much smaller than us. Yeah, plenty. Hey Leonard, call out if he's gonna smack his, his pumpkin. Slow, George, slow. Slow, slowly go to driver, driver. Yeah, you're good there. Just go driver a little bit. Okay, straight out. All right, straight out. Keep that line. Keep towards me. Towards me. Watch that left. I got the right. That right. All right, go uh, passenger now. Just a little bit, a little bit passenger. Here. Yeah, uh, go to the left. You have the perfect line. Don't turn. Just come through. A little faster. Slow. Very slow. Very, very slow. You're going to creep up. You're going to let the torque pull you up, okay? Slow, slow, slow. That's the line. Come on up. Slow. Slow. Perfect. You got it. Slow, slow. You're going to do the same line. Come a little passenger. No, you're already up. You're, you're, you're first over. Go straight. straight. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Straight, straight. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was really oh. Good. That's just like the thinnest map. Watch that right. You're very good. Mm. You're good. Hey, what's that fluid right there? <laughs> <laughs> Those are tears. You got Mike, you're you're good, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow, slow. <laughs> it's just straight, straight as you can, man. Okay. Uh, straight and straight, as straight as you straight, can. Straight, straight as you can, man. number two. Then he 
This is a squeeze. Yeah, definitely the reason why I call it squeeze is super tight trail. Uh, if you have a full size, you're gonna hit something. Even right now, I'm like inching along all the little rocks and trees and stuff like that. But yeah, it was cool. Had to put in for, uh, for low with the locker. But uh, if you want to bump it, you could go just chances are hitting something. It's pretty high when you're bumping things around with rocky, rocky area. All right, so we are officially finished with the squeeze section. So this will connect us back to Holcomb Valley Row, uh, right to the, if you go left of that, you can do the, call the small jumbo, a little jumbo, but we can connect back and uh, try and find a campsite. Cause it is, as you can see, 520. So we have about a little bit of over an hour of sunlight left. But yeah, the Swedes, that was, that was really fun. Definitely test out your line picking and uh, all that good stuff when it comes to off-roading. But let's find a campsite, guys. All right, we found a little spot here. I think we're gonna call this home for the night. Pretty tired, 5.30. Got a little cold, but it's pretty uh, popular area here. Holcomb Valley Road is right there in front of us. So put on our tent and uh, call it a day, but I'm gonna get out of the drone real quick. Show you guys the area. <laughs> That's our setup right there. Just got my backpacking backpack. Got the Devo's light out. Making some burger. Got a fire pit, put a pink fire pit going. There's always a fire bin up here, so just bring a fire pit. Got the grill master, Jonathan. Oh yeah. How many are you making? Can I get a animal style? Uh, yeah, dude, we actually have yeah, in and out spread. In <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you guys do have it. <laughs> Yeah. Which one? Uh, maybe this, uh, these, these right here. These right here. These are a perfect ending oh, to your day. All right, guys. All finished airing up. Time to head down. What a fun day yesterday. I was able to do all those offshoots, Harvey Mine, and the squeeze man there's some uh, rocky section in those offshoots of Hoka Valley Road so if you guys are looking for something a little bit more exciting to do rather than a fire roll off Hokan Valley recommend those two offshoots tons of camping uh, areas over there so you guys definitely can find a place to camp uh, but yeah I recommend rock slider just in case to protect your rocker panel with those uh, two offshoots and uh, having 33 inch tire would be help but <coughs> excuse me 32 inch tire our friends were able to do it so yeah definitely definitely a fun day yesterday catching up with the guys and just having fun camping you know get away a little bit from the work schedule and just to be in nature again so all right if you guys enjoy this type of content consider subscribing to the channel i'm gonna head down to uh big bear get some breakfast mcdonald is calling my name right now uh coffee uh, mcmuffin or McGriddle. Ooh, McGriddle sounds pretty good. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Alright, take care guys. Bye.